There's a question that keeps popping up on Facebook and I thought I'd answer it while we've got Lightroom up and running. When you import a Foodie Raw file, it doesn't always look the same when it opens up in Lightroom as to what you saw it on the back of the screen. So you've taken a raw file with a black and white Acros simulation on it. You open it, import it into Lightroom and it shows up as colour. So I'll just show you what I mean and how you can actually rectify that. So we've got Lightroom open up here. And if you've not changed any settings, you go to import. This is your import dialog box. And you see, this is a raw file that I took in a black and white across simulation and it's showing black and white. And that's because it's looking at the JPEG preview inside the raw file. So we can see it's black and white. So we'll import those two. Now it's imported and built its preview. Hmm. It's color. Well, hang on. I wanted that in black and white. Go to the develop tab. It's color. But what you've got to notice is the profile that Lightroom's added. It's put Adobe color onto it. So it's looked at the raw file, which has got no burnt in simulation apart from in the JPEG, and it's added that to it. So let's uh, take this out. Let's remove this photo move it from Lightroom. What you need to do is go to your edit menu, preferences, and then this go to presets. And what we've got here is this box here. And what it says rear raw defaults global is Adobe raw. So globally Adobe will put its own defaults on. What you need to do is tick this box override global settings for specific cameras. Now I've already got one set up here, but I know that image was taken on the XS10. This will only be populated with cameras that you've already imported images from. So I've imported all these cameras, I've imported images from into Lightroom and it's read the metadata and it's put it in here. If you've only ever done got an F um, X-T3, that's all it will be in here. If you've got an X-T3 and XS10, and you import some XS10 ones, you'll have XS10. And I know the black and white was taken on XS10. Now what it's saying is, for the camera XS10, what's the default you want to do? Well, what I want to do is the camera settings. And I can create that as a default. And now what it says is, if I import an image from the Fuji XS10, and I can narrow that down by serial number if you've got more than one camera, I want it to use camera settings. So we go, OK. Now we go import. There's a Acros one. We import it. Comes in. Creates its preview. But it's still in Acros because you've written in the raw metadata that this has got Acros simulation on. Going to develop. And you can see it's now put that. Whatever simulation you've used to take that raw file it will show that first and not the Adobe color. We'll import this Acros one again and I'll show you what the difference is between Lightroom importing and Capture One. So we've got our Fox. Again, in the import, we've seen it as Acros. We're not doing anything to it at all. We'll import those two images. As you can see, it's in black and white. And that's because if we go to here, when it comes in, it sees the ICC profile that's in the raw file. Is it saying it's from an XS10? Going to use a generic. And the curve is auto. And auto is whatever the cameras wrote into the metadata. In this case, Acros. So if we picked Acros, it makes no difference because it's on auto, which is Acros. Just pick a different one. And obviously we can change it to the colour, but auto means it's looked at the camera, looked at what metadata is written in the raw file and put this in. And that's the difference between Capture One and Lightroom on importing raw files. There is all the differences, they add different amounts of sharpening and different amounts of noise reduction as well, but that's what they do. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, that helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.